They have a half mile to go in the Coral Eclipse and Alain Kerr will lead them into the home straight. It's Alain Kerr who leads. Baybridge has always been his shadow in second. To the inside, Lord North covered up in third. Ridden to the outside now is Native Trail. Mishrift between rivals. Still at the back of the field is Vadini. They're bunching up now with just over a quarter of a mile to go. Alan Kerr is hanging tough on his outside. Baybridge has a share of the lead. Native Trail. Vadini out very wide is staying on. Lord North is splitting rivals. Mishrif in close quarters looking for racing room. It is now Vadini on the outside. On the inside, Lord North. Native Trail between those two. Vadini has got the lead. A half furlong to go in the Coral Eclipse. Vadini, Native Trail. Mishrif on the outside. Vadini wins it for France. In the white and black to his outside in the violet is Persian Force. They've been tracked through by the yellow jacketed once more for luck. Over toward the far side, Black Beard, right over there along with Zoology. It's another length and a half away to Mischief Magic, who races in company with the Antarctic. They're racing up towards halfway. Persian Force now strides into the lead, picks it up for Never Just a Dream. Marshman is still very much handy with those in third. Black Beard moving up into fourth now in the purple. Then they're ridden along once more for luck. Hard at it over toward the far side is Zoology as they make their way past the bushes. It's Persian Force under Ross Arainu lead from Blackbeard racing in second. Marshman back in third. The Antarctic trying to make an effort. Then Mischief Magic. They race into the dip and Blackbeard now serves it up to Persian Force and Blackbeard goes into the lead. He goes away by a length and a half. Stable companion, the Antarctic, is out after him. Then Mischief Magic and Persian Force as they head up towards the line. It's Blackbeard to go on to win the middle park. Blackbeard has beaten the Antarctic. As they continue the run down the hill and about to run left-handed round the most famous bend in world horse racing. And pile driver from Hookham almost smashing strides now. Chased by high definition on the inside of Manobo, living legend and Palavacino looking outpaced. The, the riders coming down towards the centre of the track and it's pile driver and Hookham. High definition on the right, on the left under a strong drive is Manobo, Palavacino and living legend. Pile driver still just with his nose in front, but here Hookham picking up well now. Hookham from Pile Driver, high definition, trying to join in on the far side as they race down towards the final furlong. And it's Hookham who's kicking away here under Jim Crowley. Hookham by three, four lengths to Pile Driver and high definition. And this is going to be a career best for Hookham. Hookham right away and wins the Dalbury Coronation Cup. And then Perfect Power is some way back at the moment with Romantic Proposal. And Alcohol Free is wide of the group. Naval Crown from Emirati Anna on the far side, chased by Creative Force and Alcohol Free. Twilight Jet down this near side from King Hermes. Artorias is being asked to improve from Cadamosto and Romantic Proposal. Then Perfect Power near side, Flaming Rib under pressure with Double or Bubble and Happy Romance. They head on now inside the final quarter mile. It's Naval Crown on the right in the white cap, still just about the leader, chased by Alcohol hole free who's just edging left under pressure chased them by creative force behind these is emirati and a double or bubble perfect power can't get into it alcohol free leading on the far side of naval crown as they race up towards the line it's the philly alcohol free for rob hornby and alcohol free rob hornby second group one of the week the left hander changing of the guard from west wind blows stone age in third star of india in fourth and then royal patron is desert crown travels well on the heels of the leaders under richard kingsco and they're followed by Glory Days and Hu Yamal changing of the guard is challenged by West Wind Blows, Stone Age in third Desert Crown, Blue Jacket, Yellow Cap beginning a run, a very handsome run down the outside Westover is staying on well in a pink cap then Hu Yamal and it's Desert Crown that comes sweeping through to take it up, oh and it's all over surely, Desert Crown has kicked right away, he sprinted away from them, Hu Yamal in second then changing of the guard, Stone Age West Wind blows and Westover and it's Desert Crown by five, six lengths to Hu Yamal and racing up towards the line a sixth derby for Sir Michael Stout Desert Crown 